Hey, it's Ansley. I'm in the Germain Robin tasting room, and I want to talk a little bit about this pretty amazing rum that we just took on. We just started selling it. Doc Abend, and it's made on a mezcal still by the guys that make Tosba mezcal. Very good distillers. Okay, so what's special about it? Two things. First thing is it's a rum agricole, and uh, that's French because they, they make it mostly in places like Martinique. Um, which means it's made from fresh cane juice. And fresh cane juice means that you cut the stalks in the field, take them, crush them, take the fresh juice that's dripping down, put it into a tank and ferment it, in this case with native yeasts, and that's what you distill. So it's fresh. And because uh, most rum, Captain Morgan, you know, Sailor Jerry, Bacardi and so forth, are made from what's left over when you make table sugar, right? That granulated stuff that you put on your cereal at the bottom of the tank, after they make that stuff, is all the dark treacle and molasses and so forth, heavy, dense, a um, little bit rough, and all the beautiful aromatics and so forth are basically not present anymore. Um, and um, so that, you know, my, my favorite analogy for this is, is that if you're buying a bottle of Sailor Jerry, it's like going down to Safeway and buying a can of Minute Maid frozen juice, taking it home, diluting it with water and drinking it, or going somewhere and getting an absolutely fresh orange that a guy just picked off a tree and squeezing it and drinking that. That's what this is. Fresh, okay? So, second thing that's neat about it is that these guys are way up in the mountain, in the Mesteca, the Sierra Norte, <clears throat> way up north of Oaxaca at very high altitude. And so the sugar cane that they're harvesting, I've seen pictures of the field, you know, they're, they're like this. And my feeling about things, grapes, agaves, whatever it is, sugar cane that are grown under difficult conditions high up, so they have to struggle a little bit to be there. You get paid back for that with uh, the fact that their, their aromatics and their flavors tend to be um, just of higher quality, more intense, more beautiful, richer, and so forth. And that's what you got here. So this is high altitude mountain cane, harvested, squeeze the first day, the first, the same day that it's picked, put into a uh, wooden vat, fermented with native yeast, and run twice through a um, a mezcal still. Totally artisanal production. So I talked about aromatics. The aromatics on this stuff are absolutely amazing. And people I pour for say, hey, I've never smelled a rum like this. Right. You've never, you've never smelled really, really good rum. Man, this stuff just stays in your nose. That's a really good sign of good spirit. And then... It has the same beautiful intensity of flavor. It, um, it, it's sweet, but in a funny way, not sugary sweet, just sort of like fruity sweet and uh, complex, really well balanced, beautiful long fillage. This is a liter, costs 39 bucks. That's a bargain. This is one of the best white spirits on the planet right now.